Hi, this is Nolan from Benchmark, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a staking list within microsurveys field genius. So a staking list allows you to sort your points either by description, point ID, or area, gather all those points up, and set them in a designated order. So what I'm going to do to begin is I'm going to head to my plumb bob in the bottom left corner here. I'm going to click on staking, and then I'm going to click staking list here in the bottom right. And you can see here that I don't have any points set up in my staking list. So what I'm going to want to do is I can either hit select points here in the bottom left corner and individually add points to the list here. You can see that I now got point 10 here. And what I want to do is I'm just going to remove this point here so I have nothing in it. I'm going to hit find points here right above select points. And you can see that I now have find point records, my find point records menu here. So there's a couple different ways that I can select points. The first of which is I can select an area. So if I click find here, what I can do is I can drag a box on my screen and it will select all the points within that box. You can see here that I've got two, three, four, five, eight, and nine selected. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit save here, and you can see that I now have all of those points in my staking list, but there's other ways that I can add points. So let's, let me just remove all these points, and then I'm gonna hit find points again, and I can also enter a range. So I could get, enter a range of one through five, and I could click find, and it's gonna say found five records, and you can see that I now have points one, two, three, four, and five, and that they're sorted by point ID. I can also short, sort them by the shortest path. That'll give me the shortest path uh, to follow those points. But again, I'm going to hit remove all points and find some new points. Again, I'm going to hit research search parameters. And then you can see here that I have a point in radius. So let's say I give point one as my radius point and a 50 meter search radius. It's going to say, oh, I found five records in this area. I can hit continue again. And you can see here that I have points one, two, three, four, eight, five and 10. And again, I'm just going to remove all my points so I can show you all the different ways you can find your points here. I'm going to hit find points again, reset my parameters, and now I'm going to go to coordinates. So you can see here that I can enter a coordinate area. So let's say I have a minimum northing of zero, a maximum of 50, my easting is going to, let's say, minus 20 and plus 35. And if I hit find here, you can see here that I don't actually have any points within that menu. So I'm gonna cancel out of this and I'm going to go back into my staking list and show you the last option here, which is my description. So if I have a description associated with my points, let's say I want a staking description with all the points that I need, to, I know that I'm going to need to stake later on, I can search for staking and it will find all of those points. But in this case, let me just go for a range and let's go one through five and hit find. You can see now that I have points one, two, three, four, and five selected and that they're sorted by the shortest path. So it's going, Field Genius has automatically calculated what the most efficient route through all of those is. And I'm gonna hit point five here and then I'm going to click stake point. And you can see that it's going to guide me into point five here. As I'm on the simulator, I can't exactly locate five perfectly, but if I hit RTK fix to record my point here, and I'm just going to record an average of 10 shots with my simulator, it's not going to be particularly accurate, but for the point of this video, it should be good enough. And I'm going to hit store position here. I'm going to hit, yeah, sure. Save point and raw data store point. Let's go point ID five stake. And I'm going to hit store point. And you can see here, I have staking list selected on my point staking menu and point four has automatically been pulled up. And if I want to edit my staking list at any time, I can just hit this little icon here and it'll bring me to my staking list. And that is everything for today's video. That is how you set up a staking list from which you can organize your points and make it easier for yourself when you are staking later on. And if you have any questions about anything you've seen in today's video or any questions about anything you've seen on this YouTube channel or any questions about the Totally North American S631 and Field Genius Surveying Solution, please give us a call at 1-888-286-3204 or visit us on the web at bench-mark.ca.